All right, let's talk about the factory pricing policy. Um, the factory pricing policy has changed. Quite frankly, it changes every single year. Uh, five, six, eight, nine, ten, twelve years ago, the margins between the invoice that the dealer paid for the vehicle and the MSRP was much larger than it is today. Um, the factory holdback used to be larger than it is today. So basically, the factory has put the squeeze on the dealer, and they haven't really announced that to the consumer. You know, consumers have always hated the uh, back and forth. The factories have always hated the back and forth. So what the factories did about it is they didn't announce that it was going to be one price. They just squeezed the margins. I mean, there's $20,000 vehicles out there with, you know, four and $500 worth of markup. But the customer doesn't know that. So when the customer objects to the price, saying the discount isn't big enough, and this was, and this is standing in the way of you delivering the vehicle, you've got to have an education talk with them. And that education talk might sound something like this. Mr. Customer, look, it used to be different than it is today. And this isn't the dealer's doing. This is the factory's doing. Um, it used to be that when we bought a vehicle from the factory, there would be about this much margin between what we paid for it and what the MSRP was. So quite frankly, we always started high. You as a consumer learned to start low, and you, we, we ended up um, somewhere in the middle. You as a consumer were happy because you got a big discount. We as a dealership were happy because we made a decent profit. Well, we can't do that anymore. Um, the internet has changed everything. The massive movement to online shopping has forced us to deeply discount the vehicle um, on the internet in order to attract phone calls, emails, and people. So, the price you saw on the internet, which was discounted $2,100, that is the vast majority of the markup in the vehicle. I'd love to go back and forth with you a few times and um, create a bigger discount for you but we can't because then we wouldn't have any profit margin at all. We're not making a big margin. As a matter of fact, in 2019, the profit margins for new and used cars hit historical lows. In 2020, shoot, it's, it's, it's heading the same direction. So I appreciate the fact that you want a bigger discount or a better price, but it was the great price and the big discount that brought you in here in the first place. We've done the best we can do Look, we've had a good time today. You picked out a terrific vehicle. Let's stop talking about the price and start talking about how to get your vehicle ready for delivery. And, and in order to do that, I need to start the paperwork. Do you have your driver's license and your insurance card handy? Okay, I hand you the driver's license and the insurance card. You have sold a car. Actually, putting it a better way, you have helped someone buy a car.